Well, it's quite an appropriate venue today because I'm an ex-table tennis player. I was a British number one for 10 years and played in two Olympic Games. And we're in Bounce in central London, which is a table tennis club. I will be drawing to an extent on my experiences in sport, the psychology of success and applying some of those themes to business. Having said that, it's not all one way. I've learned things from business and from other areas of life which are also applicable to sport. But I think broadly speaking, the explanation for world-class levels of performance is, is about the same, whether one's looking at table tennis or chess or mathematics or fund management or accountancy or innovation in design. But the underlying principles and mechanisms, I think, are, are broadly speaking the same. I think that the idea of talent is vastly overrated. When it comes to anything complex in the world, and most jobs are highly complex, world-class performers never get there quick. It's never an overnight success. It's something that takes a long time to build the relevant experience. So the idea that skill is conferred at birth, I think, is deeply problematic. And one of the problems, I think, is often people pigeonhole themselves and their colleagues. You're not really cut out for this. You're not somebody who can become world class. Recognizing that one isn't at a fixed point, that one is expandable, developable, that one can grow and, and improve is psychologically very important. One can only improve if one gets feedback, and often the speed of improvement in any complex field is the quality and layered nature of the feedback that one gets. The more I've explored the world of business and sports since writing about, the more I've come to the conclusion that this notion of feedback is terribly subtle, but also extremely profound. I suppose the third area that's important is being able to deliver under pressure. You know, it's all well and good having knowledge and skill and experience, but often one has to do it, you know, a key pitch or playing in an Olympic final. Being able to deliver under pressure is important, and there are some really, really good ideas about how that can happen. And I'll be expanding on it in my presentation today.